As we stand before Brazzo and absorb that which sets us free, inside ourselves we feel a connection growing stronger. When a tear starts rolling down one's face, it drops like a stone dropping into water. It creates waves that serve as testimonies. A feeling awakens inside us that like the tide conquers our shores. People were happy to have discovered that a great deal of their life could be revealed by reading the lines on their faces, by looking at the way they gaze, the way they hold their hands. What joy awaits us when we realize that every day and that every moment of our life transmits the truth about itself. All one must do is hear it, feel it, and reach it. The truth about us is not our opinion about ourselves. It is not the property which we do or do not own, nor the bank account or a title. The truth about ourselves is our portent which we send out into the world, our desire for something to be good or bad. Life is beautiful, rich, gentle, and as grand as the soul that is immersed in it can be beautiful, rich, gentle, and grand. Sometimes all we have to do is look at our child or grandchild, and it seems that our soul is melting, turning into something which trembles, a strange vibration which unites us with something infinite. Sometimes the same thing seems to be occurring when we take our photos to Brazzo. Our hearts skip a beat. Somewhere in the distance, an eruption of pent-up feelings occurs and they all travel around the world as testimonies of our love, our feelings. We are all connected at every moment. It is irrevocable fate. Due to all my problems and illness, my husband left me because I wasn't as hard working as I used to be. I was left to raise my children as best I could. I am especially grateful to Brazzo because when it was the most difficult, when they told me that I would never be able to walk again, that my children would have to drive me and that I could no longer help them and they would have to help me, which was very difficult, he was there for me. Brazzo helped me so much. And even when I brought the test results to him, he said that he knew that the doctors could not help me, but that he would. I was so happy, and since that day, I no longer feel any pain in my spine. I work four hours per day because those are the working hours that the committee assigned me. When it is dark, we turn on the light. When we are ill, we take medicine. However, every light casts a shadow. The shadow can be beautiful and alluring. A shadow which testifies how small we are and how we can only be seen when the light shines on us. Each medicine leaves traces on us. Sometimes it does more harm than good. Brazzo teaches us that the only light which casts no shadow is the one we will carry away inside us, the light of love.
when I had high blood pressure and I would go somewhere far away and I used to be exhausted. I took a pill, but it only made things worse, and then the people called an ambulance. While waiting for the ambulance, I only thought to myself, please, my dear son, help me. When they arrived, I was all better. I was even a bit embarrassed that they even came. They themselves said that there was nothing wrong with me. There, this is that son. A long time ago, scientists discovered that our dreams send out signals. It is true, however, that it did take them a long time to recognize this as a scientific discovery. People realized that dreams should be deciphered, read, and interpreted. And is there anything more simple than interpreting the appearance of Brazzo in our dreams? This is a call that one mustn't ignore. I came to Yesenice 15 days after my son Drajan had died. I only wanted to ask of Brazzo to give me and my family strength. Then I saw the light. It was behind him, and it was so powerful that I had to rub my eyes in order to avoid it going directly into them. He turned around and left, but that light remained. Then I said, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Brazzo, for my son is immersed in such light. We are a part of the same world. Brazzo's gaze, which is directed at all of us, reaches people all the way in China, Brazil, Canada, and India. People come from all over the world thirsty for Brazzo's gaze, for invitations come from all over the world for Brazzo to come visit them. I believe that thinking about him calms me and it makes the time pass easily. I am much calmer and am more inspired. Thinking about him always puts me in a good mood. The first time I came, I was looking for peace at home, for everyone to get along because we had had a lot of misunderstandings, to finally find love, and I did. I know that since I have been coming here, I have had strong reactions and that he is energetically as well as spiritually very strong. He is a kind of avatar for me. I believe him to be a kind of holy entity, but I do not wear his pendant because I do not have a materialistic bond with him. I know that we all feel him, my children also. I recommend to everyone to come. You do not have to have a health-related problem. Come to experience change. In the past four years, my whole family, my parents, my partner and children have changed our lives for the better. We have found the right path in our life and the barricades from childhood have fallen down, which is very important. I think it is very important if you want to find yourself as a human being in life. I would recommend change to everyone, to the world and all of us, to make this world a better place for everyone. When one morning the news spread around Srebrnyak that a family had been there for days and that they came to see Brazzo all the way from Canada, Brazzo invited them to see him. He felt the strength and connection that overcame the ocean that divides us, the land and the sea. My name is Mirela, and this is my sister Adriana, and our mother Ankica. We came here from Canada because we had read about Brazzo in the magazines Arena and Gloria, which we buy in Canada. We heard that Brazzo had helped people a lot. Although we have come a long way from Canada, if so many people come to see him, then there must be something to him. My sister, my baby, suffers from epilepsy and dystrophy and is somewhat mentally retarded. We expect nothing except to see Brazzo so he can at least offer her some comfort in her life. We read in the papers that he had healed many people who were suffering from epilepsy and had cancer. 
One woman even got up from off her wheelchair. Therefore, we wanted to see if he could help us just a little bit. When the famous Indian Swami appeared at Zagreb airport, Brazzo felt a connection. He invited the Swami to Srebrnjak. The Swami visited this place of love on two occasions. He sat in the bamboo and prayed. He dined with Brazzo and friends and explained his views to them. He gave a part of his love to everyone, but especially to Brazzo's son, Andalon. As he was leaving, he could conclude only one thing, good people. Yes, very nice, very good, good thoughts, good atmosphere, and good people are here, and they make everything good. Good is a God, and God is a good. We are all connected, Brazzo says, and we must respect that. Sometimes we go somewhere without knowing the reason why. We do not know what draws us to that place. Only when on our journey there, we encounter someone whom we had perhaps wanted to see. It becomes clear to us that things do not happen to us accidentally. First time I heard from Brazzo, from a friend of mine. He visited him in, in Croatia. Then, I, I thought interesting for me. It's interesting. So, especially I read in a newspaper in a Linz in Austria, Brazzo is coming to Gmunden in Upper Austria. So I said, two days, only two days, and Sunday we go, we go there. And they were there in Gmunden and visited Brazzo. And I saw him and I saw, okay, this is. A man, a good man. His, 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 laughing, his, his, his lovely face, and his. I think that's okay, and this, it happens something uh, you cannot declare. You maybe could the, the room was not so so air conditioned, so 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 good, bad air maybe. But I had something so and so and so, with with us a, a girlfriend was for me a doctor from Gmunden, and she always said it's, 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 it's English in, in, in English, we feel something, we feel, you can feel something, you, you cannot declare. This was my visit, and we coming here for one week, I, well, I maybe we, we, we should to go to Zagreb, maybe, and visit him, ne? so I'm, no, no, we have seen it in Gmunden, it's okay, we go, about Italy and, and now we are here in, in, in this island and this is <laughs> very interesting. Interesting for me because I hear him every second day in my home. Yeah? I make meditation, make a good music and hear him in speaking on the on the on the DVD. And and so I now I'm sitting here. This is and you didn't expect to see Brazzo here in Lubit? No, 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 no. Never? No, no I never. Wieso? Das in Zagreb. <laughs> Especially in Zagreb. Or I have read he's uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, he's around, make his trips. And from Monday till uh, Wednesday or so, he's in, 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 yes, in Zagreb. In the strength is instant, and like the wave, conquers the distances. Often at the moments of Brazzo's gaze or the sound of his voice do changes occur incomprehensible to traditional medicine. A gaze or a voice raise one from bed and give new meaning. Macedonia is not far for the gaze, voice, openness and energy which awaken. <laughs> I weep from joy. He saved my life. I was bedridden and I couldn't get up. I'm alive now and I thought I wouldn't make it. 
Now I am happy, and now I want to live. I thank Prato so, so much. <laughs> we influence each other without knowing it. We activate world with our desires and hopes. We close them with our sadness. Sometimes we need medicine, and then there are days when we do not. Sometimes we need beauty for which we would continue fighting. We need a word to explain to us how we must live, how living makes sense. We need love, the kind of love that Brazzo awakened inside of us in unexpectedly large amounts. I have been coming since 1996. I couldn't come before that because I had been gravely ill. First I had his photograph and three months later Brazzo came to me in a dream. He told me that I should come within five months and so I took out my passport and came there. I love all of them in my heart and in my soul. I used to have sinus tumor. Everything was remedied without any surgery. The doctors are amazed how that is possible. You wear a sun symbol. What does it mean to you? It means happiness and well-being to me. When Brazzo is invited to a convention, uncertainty always occurs. How can one take Brazzo's time away from someone to give it to someone else? How can one not come to one of the common places of association because of that convention? Because this is a chance for people who are not familiar with Brazzo to meet him and experience revelation. Brazzo sometimes accepts going to conventions. One such event was the recently organized convention in Oberhausen, Germany. It heralded as the greatest European convention which evoked respect. This was an opportunity to show the well-informed what exactly was Bratz's place in the world of the alternative. The convention in Oberhausen soon turned into something which we can be bold enough to call Pratos Convention. 
Most of the visitors mainly came to see Brazzo. Most of the presenters and speakers just talked on and on and on, and then the man who says nothing appeared. The connection of which Brazzo spoke just spread all over that small German town as well. I was in the fifth row and I closed my eyes. When you closed your eyes, were you able to feel anything? Actually, only the energy, no glow or anything like that. Thank you. Thank you too. So, what can you tell us? How was it? It's hard to say. You can definitely feel the energy, in any case. Could you explain to us why you come to see Bratz? Yes, because it gives me strength, helps me in my everyday life, and this is for me simply a reality, a truth. He has so much strength which he gives without asking for anything in return, only for us to come and see him. How was it today? Today I saw an aura. What was it like? It was white, white, and now I remember very light. I felt a pain here and stiffness around my neck, but now all that has gone. I can turn my head. Everything is great. Thank you very much. Is today your first visit to Brazzo? Yes, the first time. How did you hear about him? Through the internet. How was it? It was marvelous. What did you discover? That I know him? Actually, I know that energy. I felt so close to him, as if, I don't know, as if we were related. I don't know. I know that energy. I simply do. What kind of effect did that energy have on you? I was very moved, to tears, as I had encountered someone I had lost and not seen for a long, long time. And then the encounter took place. And that, that was marvelous. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best. Is today your first visit to Brazzo? No, I have been here many times. I have been coming for a year and a half. Why is that? For years I had terrible migraines, and I went to see many doctors, Schlaflabors, where they make you fall asleep. I took a lot of medication, which at the end of the week made me feel exhausted and not able to do anything. Then I came to see Brazzo, and it was great. He removed all the problems. I sometimes still get them, but that happens very, very rarely. Yes, and now my health is good. How was it today? It was intense, strong pounding of the heart. I saw Brazzo in a light. Sometimes I couldn't see him at all. Actually, that was it. Yes, it was great. Very nice. I have one more question. Why do you come to see Brazzo again and again? What does Brazzo mean to you? Well, it is not only for health reasons. I found myself here. I feel good with Brazzo and I receive something that in other places, for example, if you asked in a store to give you some of their energy and I don't know, I found my inner peace and tranquility here. Thank you. Are you here at the fair on business? Yes. And how do you like it? It's wonderful. I've had such a wonderful experience. 
At first I felt dizzy, then I felt as if all the bad things and negativity were plucked from out of my head. After that, it all became clear to me with that English gentleman. I will gladly come again and help. Thank you. I can see your eyes smiling. Does that mean that you deeply felt this man? Is this your first time here? Yes, this is my first time here and I had never heard about him before. It all happened accidentally. He walked through the room, everyone started following him, so we said, let us go as well. We also received that map, but we did not pay heed to it. It was very impressive. How did you feel when you met Brazzo? He radiated unusual tranquility, and the time really went by too quickly. Today was my first visit with Brazzo. And how was it? It was very nice. I feel totally different. Wonderful. And the light. The light impressed me very much. Yes, yes, it was very nice. Today is your first visit to Brazzo. Yes, that's right. Tell us how you saw him, how you experienced him. Well, I completely focused on him and my associates saw what I saw and witnessed it all with me. So a great silvery light and a blue aura and Brazzo somehow levitated off the ground and then came down again. It was interesting, like my colleagues saw. We both saw everything at the same time. Fantastic. Could you tell us what you felt inside when you watched and experienced that? What did it feel like? Well, this was not unfamiliar to me, but as I said, I just let it go. And it was simply now, and the feeling focused on that. Moreover, I feel as if we were both one. Thank you very much. You're welcome. In any case, it was really impressive, and it's hard to say, but for me, it was a kind of aesthetic love. I can't explain it. It was something that otherwise cannot be understood, something very, very fine, and I felt really wonderful, and all I did was cry and cry, but I felt good. Yes, it's hard to say. In any case, I liked it very much, so I came here tonight again. What was your first encounter with Brazzo? I had seen his DVD before, while watching the DVD. It was all about the voice. I copied it to my audio recorder and I would play it when I wanted to fall asleep. But I cannot say why or what actually happened. I cannot say that except that something drew me to it. Come to me. Is today your first time visiting Brazzo? Yes. Could you tell us how it was? It was wonderful. I can't express myself. It was so good, great. And then I thought I saw Jesus Christ. I don't know, I am so overwhelmed. It was wonderful. Today was a special experience for me. I think that I fell into a coil and climbed up it and everything was spinning on top. And the warmth and the light. Usually I just see a light above the head and now I saw that light everywhere. A light that had the shape of an egg. It is still strong. Wow. <laughs> Have you had any other experience? I come to Brazzo and I feel joy in my heart and I forget to ask and everything stops being important to me. I feel that I am better and I feel happier and everything goes my way. Thank you. Can you tell us about your experience? My experience was that at one moment I let myself go and I was one with him. He was me and I was him. 
However, I do know that mentally we are all one and I simply opened up my heart and let myself let go to the giving. Did you see him clearly? I saw quite a blurry image of him, but behind him I saw a golden aura and the colors of the rainbow. What was the inner feeling like? What was released? A sense of gratitude that I am allowed to experience that awoke inside of me. You yourself are active in the field of spirituality and have experience on the subject. Yes, a lot. And now I know that this is my last incarnation and that my task now is to help people enter it and so it doesn't do me any harm to completely let myself go and disappear. It was wonderful. I had a flyer and I saw his face and I know that I had to come and I had a feeling that if only he would come again. It was really nice and he came again and I'm looking forward to being close to him again on Wednesday. Thank you. I would like to ask you a few questions. May I? Yes, please. I hope that I will be able to answer them. There won't be any problems. Was today your first time visiting Brazo? Yes, it was. Today wasn't the first time. Yesterday was. And because the experience was so intense, I wanted to come again and encounter him again to experience the same thing. What did you experience yesterday that made you want to come back again today? Yesterday it was on the one hand a physical experience, let's say that my body was shaking a little and I felt weakness, numbness in my body. But it wasn't as if I was going to faint, it was not that strong. That feeling of weight lasted and then I made eye contact and a sudden connection with everything occurred and everything was transfusing so that I no longer observed the people around me. I was simply connected to them. I used to have body barriers before, nothing more. It was such a connection that I no longer noticed anything material around me. It's hard to describe, and then those bodily experiences. Eventually, I was very tired, and then it moved into my head, the need to lie down. So I did. I slept, and this morning I wanted to do it again. I actually wanted to see what would happen today. Today, I actually felt serenity, brightness, that I did not have yesterday. Could you explain to us what kind of sensation that is? Well, it was very pleasant. It's really hard to describe, to put into words. If I were to use a word to describe it, which is what I concluded today when I got up this morning, then it would be a feeling of serenity. A change had occurred. This is now your second visit to Brazzo. How would you describe Brazzo to someone who is coming to see him for the first time and who had never seen him before? Who is Brazzo? What does he do? 
Oh, it's difficult to describe with words. You must experience it. But could you help me? I believe that this is a completely individual experience and a solely personal experience which occurs as an exchange or in this space and like I heard from other people, their feedback on personal experiences, it is actually very specific, directed at not the problem, but that which currently occupies the person. It's a reaction to that. And in accordance with that, people react or have those feelings that are actually meant to happen, and that moment is here, as a release. What do you think with what and how can Brazzo help us? With what? Uh, with which problems? Well, I think that it is possible on all levels. When that change, transformation occurs, then at that moment the problem is solved or is transformed in a similar way that we ourselves develop. You have now collected so many colors in only 24 hours about Brazzo as if you have been coming to see him for years. That is really wonderful. What does that mean to you personally, this experience? What does it mean to you? I hope this experience will last. That serenity that I felt, what my acupuncturist induced with needles, it would always disappear. But this time I experienced something much stronger. And what was your question? I forgot. With what? Yes, yes. Well, when one is prepared to encounter a person such as Brazzo and is ready to encounter oneself in this way, then I would recommend it to everyone to come and experience it. I am a physical therapist and I had a patient who couldn't move her arm. I managed to help her with acupressure, a technique based on meridians. Enough so that she could lift her arm. Then she went to see Brazzo twice and saw me after that weekend and raised her arm this high. I thought to myself, this can't be true. What are you even doing here? Then I decided we would go there together to feel that energy because I had heard incredible stories. There was a woman there who was thanking him because her twins could see again. I thought to myself, I must be in some kind of movie. As far as I am concerned, I have always practiced healing and Brazzo took me further in my work. Last year I visited Croatia and I did not have a map of the city. I was simply led to the place where Brazzo resides. We arrived and my friend asked where the street was where Brazzo lived and the answer was the first on the right, in the middle of Zagreb. Brazzo wasn't there, but he showed up 10 minutes later, and at that moment I felt that all my chakras were free. It happened in a moment, a beautiful feeling. I respect Brazzo and his ability very much, because I have seen the effect he has on people, myself included. Just like I felt it today, when you let yourself go to the finer levels, not the rough bodily ones, you feel that energy that flows and connects. It was very significant for me.
Today is your first time visiting Bratzow. Today was the first time I visited Bratzow. I am from Brazil but have been living in Germany for a long time. I am of course thrilled, but I have known him through film, through his DVD, and that is what drew me to him on that spiritual level. I know that he does what he preaches. It is simply there and it is a high level. What did you feel? I felt that he could heal his credibility, his honesty, his level which is something special, something sacred and that he transfers it further. I felt that. Would you like to see Brazo in Brazil? Yes, of course. I already told my mother over the phone about Brazo and sent her a photo of him. She was thrilled by just hearing about him. She is completely enthusiastic. I sent her a photo via the internet and it immediately evoked strong feelings in her. Some friends invited Brazo to come to Brazil. My question is whether you think that people in Brazil would want to see Brazo. Yes, yes, we are all very mythical people and very prepared and open. Marina Gold from Brazil had an especially strong experience who after her first experiences with Brazo said that she would do everything in her power to get Brazo to come and visit Brazil. First your name, uh, who are you from, what are you doing, how old are you and everything about you. How old are no, you? Not well, old. you? Not tell you. I can tell that I um, was born in the same day, day. at yes. okay. Brazo. Can you begin and shut my name is Marina Gold. I came from Brazil, where I used to be a sensible woman, and I uh, I'm working with uh, stories teller, future teller, no future preparing. I prepare the future because I can't see past and present of my consulate, and I am searching for the karmas. And when I find the karma, I have to uh, dissolve it. And that's my work. And also to bring children and also to be, uh, bring uh, feminine health to the human, uh, women that have something bad in the uterus or uh, this part of body. And I was very proud to be invited to know uh, Brasso because in South America, Brazil, where I live, we didn't hear from him before. Mm -hmm. So it was a very important experience with him. And as I am uh, sensible, I can, I could see everything that passes uh, through Brasso's energy. He works in three times. I, I can see if he was here, he worked five minutes every, uh, every part. So in 50 minutes, because spiritual work is very fast. You don't have a spiritual work in one hour, two hours. Then you have a doctor, a surgery. Uh, but a spiritual work, or it is done like this, or it is not done. So he worked, I see three, I saw three kinds of energy. First of all, he worked in our uh, uh, psychological territory. So it was the people there standing, and he was doing his work joining the pieces of the personality of everybody that is here because many disturbs many uh, uh, bad things come from this connection of the part of psycholo psychological mind
And this the first thing he do. He come, he does, oh sorry. He comes and he made uh, as a cleaning of the personality, psychological, psychologically of everyone. And the personality who was very uh, dis disturbed will be quite nice and grateful. At the second time, uh, he, uh, his energy come from the earth to, 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 to the sky. And that's the moment where the physical corporal uh, body is touched. Then we have light, because from Braco come a light uh, uh, has a little and rapid flash ch -ch -ch, to everybody. If he, uh, somebody have, has heard, heard this here, pst, goes here. If, if, if I had some, some uh, pain here, pst, and made like this, and uh, this is light. And the uh, last thing is spiritual. He gave satisfaction, harmony, and he took out all the this, this, this despair because people are very desperate. And at once he take this, this kind of desperate and the person goes calm and very grateful, not for Braco because we don't see Braco because Luis Braco is a powerful goddess energy, and that's why the Braco's work is so uh, tra uh, harmonious, harmonious, okay? I work it till today, all along. The first person that I see uh, lead, uh, uh, dealing with energy uh, not as I do, because I don't have so much strong. I am older for this. But it's Braco. He has the energy. He, he has the, we say in Portuguese, the pegada. He has the, the head. Okay. okay. Now I have... And so Braco was invited to come to Brazil. It is one of the many invitations that he must reply to in the times ahead. Bearing in mind the years of work, love and watching over us, we are certain that in the future the decisions that he makes will help our sometimes fallen souls and our world whose shadow extends more and more each day. We are all connected, Brazzo says. <laughs>